You know I really try to stay optimistic and positive about the future, but sometimes being a realist in the moment, you just have to realize that things are just absolutely f up. Today we gotta talk about one of the craziest stories I've heard in a while, and I feel like I say that every other video because what is going on? So if you wanna hear something crazy, just stay to the end of the video, it'll be a quick one, like always, but with that being said, let's jump into it. Washington is running out of gas for your car, dead ass. The news has reported that several gas stations don't have gas. Meanwhile, people on social media from Washington says there's about 10 plus gas station closed due to no gas. Now this is a huge problem because our supply chain is horrible already and it's not gonna get better and the war is getting worse and we're not doing anything to help the prices of gas. We're probably doing more harm than good. And the craziest part is Washington has stated that they are getting ready for gas to be over $10 a gallon. $10 dollars a gallon. Now going back like a year or so ago, I remember talking to my buddy KC about how gas was going to get to easy $7 a gallon because of our supply chains. And this is when gas was like three bucks. I thought $7 was going to be high. Now it's more likely gas is going to be $10 a gallon plus. And just to put that in reference for you, their average gas in Washington is $5.14. Us in California is like $5.80 for the lowest grade. You're talking like $7 some places for the highest grade. So if they're getting at $10, what do you think we will be? We're gonna be like 11 or $12. And this is a snowball effect because the way we get groceries, they drive the big diesels. And if gas just went up double, so did the prices because they have to pay for everything and they're gonna pass the price on to consumers. Meaning more inflation, meaning inflation is out of control, meaning the Federal Reserve does not have this under control. Now, according to this article as well, there's only four states in the whole United States under $4 or three, Georgia, Kansas, Oklahoma. And I can already hear them now. They're probably like, yes, we got one. We got one, folks, because nobody talks about these states. Maybe Georgia, but Kansas and Oklahoma, come on, nobody talks about them. Now they're like, yes, we got them. This is going to get bad. Gas controls everything we do, unless you have an electric vehicle. But most of us don't because they're very expensive. You're spending double, if not triple on gas for one gallon. That's going to be double, if not triple on your food value, on your airplane tickets, on the train tickets, on the bus tickets. You want to buy clothes? is gonna cost you more because they have to have the gas to drive it there. This comes down to everything. I say just get prepared. Again, I'm probably gonna buy more wheat products and more pastas and things that last a long time. I'm also gonna sell a lot of things that I don't need in the moment because I'd rather just hoard cash and stay solid through this uh, craziness and uh, hopefully come out better when this is done. Lord knows when this is done, but that's, uh, that's my optimistic outlook. And like I always say, I apologize. I'm the bearer of bad news. I just wanna keep you guys informed so you guys can make the right decisions and not be hurt by everything because it's going to hurt. $10 plus a gallon is going to hurt, I promise you. You put $20 in your tank, you get, at that point, two gallons. <laughs> it's still gonna be on E. But anyways, guys, my name is Derek. I hope you enjoyed this type of content. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys don't let the outside forces get to you. Just uh, continue to master yourself, continue to level up, continue to do better. If you like this type of content, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do to stay in the loop. But with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.